Mike and I, the other guitar player and myself, met in high school many, many years ago. Um, and we've been playing together ever since. The drummer and bass player likewise met in high school and have been playing together ever since. I met Jim my freshman year at Syracuse University and we have been playing music together ever since. There was a random gig where uh, Jamie, Jamie and Jim were friends from growing up and there was a random college gig that we had with my college band and Jamie you know, was up visiting and our drummer was late to the gig, but he had already he'd come and set up his gear and then left. And Jamie was there, and Jim's like, yo, Jamie's a really good drummer. You should let him just play this gig. So, you know, he played maybe the first 10 or 15 minutes of the set. And then, you know, went back to Delaware, where he was from. And, and for years and years and years later, you know, it came time for us to find a new drummer. And, and Jamie was brought up, but it, you know, it took us a while to put this together. Like, wait a minute, we, we actually played together like a long time ago. Um, so yeah, it was a very natural thing. And, and the thing is, is for everyone in this band, they've got at least one other person that they've known since childhood. And I think that's really important. And um, it helps us, uh, you know, get on with things, you know. Any sort of hang-ups or, or, or arguments or anything like that, it, it helps us really move on. We're, we've all been friends for a long time. Reveals its great design. We're lying alone in my room, sweeping up my thoughts with the devil's broom. You never know me when I'm low. Only know me when I'm. Our, our last couple of festival performances were really huge for us. Bear Creek was a big one for us, and so was Catskill Chill. You know, one being in New York and the other in Florida. And that's kind of where our two home bases are, in the Northeast and then here in South Florida. So this was our first year, I think, where we had really blown out sets, big crowds and really great time slots. You know, we were getting those time slots that we deserve. And um, I think we really stepped up to the plate. Um, you know, we, we got a little more involved in, in the production aspect of it. We brought out performers and things like that and just other little like kind of gags that we've done on stage that are really just crimes of opportunity and we're just going to try to capitalize on them as much as possible. Um, also I think musically this band is in, a be in the best place that it's ever been. So to be able to bring the, you know, this lineup and this set of tunes that we have to the festival setting and be playing the thousands of people is just incredibly exciting. It's like, the, that's what these songs are written for. This is the home, and this is where they belong, right here. You know, so that's, um, so that's, that's pretty killer. I look forward to the next time. We're going to be working a lot more in, the, in, in video, which is something that we've been experimenting with with our Everywhere sessions, which has been really fun. I was explaining a little bit about that earlier. Um, you know, a lot of us in studio, just playing in studio, you know, to, to ourselves really, just playing, just practicing even. And then a, a lot of just very candid footage of us just hanging out, um, either driving around in the van, taping hours and hours of conversations and then finding the, finding the funny stuff or the stuff that we think people will get, you know, digging it out of there. Um, and then putting them together, I, I think it, that's been really fun for us and it, I think it's in, like a new way for us to reach our fans. Um, likewise, the studio that we've been working in now, we're just starting to kind of um, utilize it for its full capabilities. And then we have the, the Aura Studios that owned by Daryl Wolf uh, that we also have access to occasionally. And it, like that place is like hardwired to just, just pop in and record. So we're going to be releasing an album in the early part of 2013, for sure. Um, all brand new material, and uh, and then you know really working the video thing too. And obviously we're going to be touring like crazy, like always. 
Cause when she walks through the door, she's a funky operator on the bedroom floor. Well, I'm a fool for you, honey, cause you got my mind reeling from the floor to the ceiling. Oh, what a feeling. I'm stealing every single kiss that I can see.